Uh, uh, which was announced by the NDF. Has there been any consideration or has there been any... No, uh, I just wanted a time to be with the commanding generals of all the armed forces of the Philippines. You know why? When I can do it on my own, but you know, ikaw isipin mo ikaw presidente. Hindi naman ikaw ang namamatay eh. So you should consult these guys who are the ones uh, ordering the troops to move and to die. It's not an issue maybe for other people, but it is to me. As a commander-in-chief, I would not like uh, anybody there dying or dead. Kaya ako kita mo, punta ako, galing ako doon sa polis, only to, tingnan mo itong mga human rights. Is there anybody sa inyo, yung mga human rights, counting the dead soldiers and policemen? I'm losing as a matter of fact on the average to each other soldier or drug connected. Huh? Either a police or uh, a military man. Nag, ano ang nag-average ako ng dalawang araw na patay. Kanina sa summer. I was visiting the yung si Mark doon sa Tanay. Uh, tapos binulungan na lang ako na, sir, may patay na naman. At itong mga human rights, silent naman. Hindi nga nakakasabi, makaawa naman. Genocide. Genocide, mga criminal genocide. Pagkaugok naman ninyo eh. Mag-aral ka kayo ulit. Ang tinatarget pa ninyo, o yung pang pilaka... Maro na mayor sa Davao. Yun mo siya. Sir Fala, are you willing, the, the NDF says they wanted the government, the GRP, to free other political prisoners. Are you ready to give in to that demand? I am ready if the successful uh, uh, talks are there for me to see and to hear. In the meantime, no. Kung kung tapos na, Oh, free. You want to join my government? Many of them are already there. Nandiyan na lahat sila halos. And I'm ready to give more. Kaya mga pangking mga financing institutions, I can accommodate all of them. And yun namang mga in-pay soldiers, uh, I will uh, release uh, money and uh, lands for them. Yung totohanan na land reform. But I will not confiscate lands now who are, uh, which are rather, uh, or get it from people who own nung una tapos gini land reform at ipinagbili uli ng uh, tenant tapos kunin ko uli doon sa land owner. I will not do that. That would be an injustice. But uh, there's so much land in the Philippines and I could Sabihin lang nila and I will uh, give them everything. Hindi sabihin na ano, but you know, hindi ako natatakot magpatayan. The problem is, tayo-tayo ng Pilipino, take so much money to run a war for nothing. Kita mo, after 45 years, may sudyante pa ako noon, kasali ako sa mga rally-rally, Kaya kilala ko si Sison, kilala ko sila halos lahat. But now, we have hit uh, a kind of uh, an agreement there to talk. See? Pwede pala tayong mag-usap eh. So another 45 years of what, deadly fighting? Question. Deputy President, um, there's a deployment of troops in the Western Mindanao right now to crush down the Abu Sayyaf group. Do you have time life to... Part of the regular movement of troops, they have to be relieved. They're just passing by to catch up the plane uh, bukas. They cannot be fighting forever there, so you have to give the soldiers a respite also. Part of the regular movement of troops, yan. 
Nobody is getting no uh, somewhere. Dati na yung sila dyan. Pinahinga lang, tapos palitan na naman ng mga bagong ano. Para, you know, they, they, they have to also take a respect of the people do. Nothing, no big deal. Kasi pag nandiyan ko nandoon yung mga ta, sabi ko, sabi ko, bakit kayo din dito? Sabi nila, maghihintay ng sakyan. Well, okay, I'll invite you to a dinner. That's the long and short of the story. No big deal, I said. Part of the regular movement of troops in this area. Wala tayong sabihin, may kinuha ko sa ibang lugar. Because I need uh, uh, I need them every inch of the territory if it can be helped. Uh, just for the for law and order purposes. President, second question: uh, When are you going to uh, announce the six to seven personalities that involved in uh, drug? In sinabi yung matrix. I have the matrix now. I I, I don't know if I'm uh, going back to the uh, ceasefire, uh, Mr. President. Uh, May time frame ba ito hanggang kailan? I really do not know. The success or failure would depend on the people talking there. If they can agree to, uh, with each other, especially on the points towards moving uh, towards peace, uh, baka ma ma because there will be some dynamics there, you know. Trabaho nila, how they are, are, uh, how are they supposed to be assimilated back to and be with us uh, together with government people, parang ganun. At no other time, at no other time, that there's, it's, there's a really a big chance uh, for both the communist and government to have peace. At no other time, hindi ako nag -ano. Second question, did they assure Including, that? excuse me, answer that, including the Moro people. At no other time, mga brother, na makakita tayo ng opportunity na ganito. I do not think that uh, in the future we'll be, we'll be able to talk uh, sensibly about the what 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 bugs this uh, island what ails this country okay go ahead okay um did they assure you na wala nang puputok na bomba sa mga sundalong bababa from the uh, operation sites it's not my problem what if kumero <laughs> alam mo na madali may isang order lang naman na ah. well, depart ka agad it's not my problem. Uh, that, that's their problem. My problem is nobody violates my order and it behoves upon the Communist Party to do the same. Otherwise, wala mangyari nito. Hindi ko yung problema sila. Problema nila yan. Ang problema ko yung mga sundalo ko, pati polis ko, kaya ko sabihin na Ako kaya ko, kasi naniwala sila, eh, isang kuberno lang naman kami, so sabihin ko huwag muna kasi baka sakali magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan sa mundong ito. Good evening, sir. Uh, I understand last Saturday, before presidential assistant the peace process, Jesus Dures left from Oslo, he also announced you having declared that ceasefire. So, point of clarification lang No, po. I said I, I will, but I have to consult the uh, ang mga tao na which I'm worried, I said, kagaya rin sa kanilang mga komunista, that nobody should violate the order because uh, eh, that is a guarantee of the Republic. Hindi ko naman aking personal yan eh. You know, there are the Kafgos, there are in the Canila, and everybody should behave. Hindi ko personal to, so karga-karga ko in the burden sa likod ko ang Republic of the Philippines. That's why I wanted to be sure. Na masunod yung order ko. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Sir, right, I think it was yesterday or the other day, the Eastern Mindanao Command came up with an announcement that there is already a suspension of military operation, and that is before you you have yes, the Yes, I correct. I said uh, I already ordered it, but I said I have to to consult the uh, okay, okay. just to make sure that my orders are followed. Otherwise, para kung gago dito. Sir, another question. What that is it? That's a sovereign 
mind you, uh, that is a sovereign uh, gesture. That is not, uh, sabi ko, that's a personal whim ko. Sa ngalan ng Republika ng Pilipinas yan. Sir, another question mm. You announced yesterday that you have been invited, Agibo, uh, to be the defense. Any, uh, any development po, sir? Uh, coming, uh, coming in tonight, I, I called him and uh, reiterated my... Si Delfin Laman Lorenzana, he used to... Op, uh, he was here, tanggal na. Kilala ni Carol. Kiba, kaibigan ni Carol Aguilas yan. Uh, he was a, a very good soldier. I got him as my defense secretary. Sabi niya, Mayor, wala man, wala man akong mag... Mayor kasi tawag na sa akin, hindi Presidente. Pero I do not want... Gusto ko Mayor kasi yan ang palayaw ko. No? That's my nickname. Yan ang nickname ko yan dahil matagal akong Mayor. Sabi niya, maniwala man ako order mo talaga. Pero alam mo, matanda na ako. Gusto ko, nakabalik na lang rin ako dito. Gusto ko dito na lang. So wala akong si Gibo talagang naghugas kamay. <laughs> These are the guys siguro who had uh, a, a had some bad experience with um, government. Some yeah, nang, uh, well, bad experience being with government. Tumat tumandok na kita ha. Bad experience with government. No no not so bad. He was the secretary of defense. Yeah. Maybe uh, disenchanted would be the word because you know he ran for president. Yeah. Uh, Ito ang si. Lorenzana naman, eh, gusto na yan, kaganda ng buhok niya nung, bumbo, nung pumunta yan dito. Ngayon, wala na siyang buhok. Kunti na lang. Thank you, Pastor. Eh, gusto na niya manami, manami. Man, ano ito? Gusto niya dito sa Pilipinas. Ano? Of course, that is the dream of every... What's the status of you for Lorenzana? Lorenzana? What exactly is the status of Lorenzana and Gibo right now? Well, uh, both, both uh, first, nagtuturoan kami sa cabinet. Somebody pointed to him. Yeah, you know. So, sabi ko, you know, you know, guys, we have to have an ambassador to the UN, uh, to the United States. That's uh, for Lorenzana. Sabi ko, nagturo, I don't know. I forgot. Uh, who, who, I think it was Sunny Dominguez. Sabi niya, no? Sabi niya, bakit Lorenzana. ako naman? Sabi ko, si ko, ko, you should do it for your country. Tapos sabi niya, Mayor, pretending namin. Kung wala ka naman talagang, if you order me to accept the position, I will work that. Pero gusto ko lang malaman mo na matanda na ako na mahirap ang buhay sa laban. Yung mingaw, if it's not your country. So if that's the case? Lorenzana stays as DND or oh, yeah. SND? Ayaw niya. Ayaw rin ni Gibo. Ibig sabihin, maghanap tayo ng iba. Ano For ba? ambassador. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sinong naisip mo? Maya na lang. Pag Sino yan siya? Iyo, sa PTV4. Ah, isa yung mamanti ka. Hi sir, I'm Lala Babylonia po from PTV. Um, ah, yung pumunta ka? Papa. Sabi mo, assign ka dito? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, kaya nga sabi ko, familiar siya. Hi, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, sir, ayun po. Good evening. Uh, I'm sorry po, baka natanong na to kanina. Amidst the unilateral ceasefire po, naka-heightened security alert pa rin po ba ang ating militar at uh, naka-deploy pa rin po ba sa areas kung nasaan yung mga NPE? It would, uh, it would really depend on the military on the ground. Whoever is the commander there, whether it is a battalion or a company, he decides for uh, if the, this, there's going to be a relaxation of the vigilance or not. Sir, follow up. Ay, ano po, uh, another question po. What's your comment po on the militarization po ng mga areas ng ating indigenous peoples, particularly mga lumad? Kasi uh, sabi daw po nila, mayor pa lang daw po kayo, nagkakaroon na po ng series of dialogues. Pero ngayon pong nagkakaroon na tayo ng peace talks, umaasa po yung mga lumad leaders na baka daw matigil na itong militarization. What's your comment? No, uh, there is no such thing as a militarization. Every inch of this uh, property of the republic must be occupied by the soldiers of the government. Walang, there's no such thing as well. Hindi kayo papasok dyan kasi no militarization there. Siguro yung overt acts na mag-ipag-away, yun ang iniiwasan. 
Ito namang ideological conflict na sari lang ito kasi yung iba nandyan sa Alamara which is really a, a paramilitary unit o CAFGO is also one. The other one is meron rin itong who sympathize with the Communist Party. Meron rin silang kanyang likwidisyo. Meron rin silang private army rin except even if they have also the regular ones. Thank you very much, sir. Kanya-kanyang sphere of ano yan, may influence, ma'am. Okay. Uh, uh, baka bukas ko na siguro deliver, but I will deliver it to pag mag-uwi ko na siguro. Kasi natagalan tayo dito, naghihintay na yung... Uh, may po gamit matrix? May namin. Oo, kung marun, may man magsama sa maya. Actually, uh, I am inviting you also, yung, lalo na hindi tagarito yung kumakain ng durian. I have invited the soldiers to, uh, to a durian festival. Kasi hindi nalabutan nila ang kadayawan eh. Sabi, sige, punta kayo doon. Malabot ako. Baka ikaw, ma'am, I'm uh, inviting you. Thank Do you sir. eat durian? Of course, sir. Ah, of course, then we should be to go there, of course, also. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hindi, <laughs> umabol lang kayo. You are with the uh, uh, mga uh, mga bait naman mga taga Davao. Oh. <laughs> Sige, sino ba? Uh, good evening, sir. Hmm? Um, last uh, um, last weekend, you declared positions in the government. Uh, are there um, Bekan, Are there um, officials already tendered? Uh, yes, uh, marami na, uh, especially those who are pending cases. Yung may mga kaso sa ombudsman tapos suspended already and reinstated back, uh, they have to go. Marami akong nag-ilagay sa gobyerno because I also supported Arroyo during the last election. And before that, I was also uh, ma ma malapit. Alam niya, I was the, the consultant of President Arroyo sa law and order. Marami rin ako nailagay sa mga institutions dyan, sa lalo na sa financing institutions. But I told them, uh, kung may mga kaso kayo, there are complaints against you, you resign now. So which offices uh, are these? Marami na. I, I do not keep count because it's, uh, it's somebody else's uh, errand, not mine. Um, Basta yung may lahat may kaso, uh, patay na kayo. So another question, uh, you are scheduled to travel uh, to Lao Republic for Laos, uh, ASEAN? Yeah, to, because yung uh, chairmanship ng ASEAN, it's our turn, so they have to, uh, I have to be there to receive it, uh, it has to be the head of state. I, 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 I beg of sana, but uh, the protocol people say that, you know, you have to be there. Uh, are there issues that you wanted to uh, raise before the... No. There are issues, uh, but they are not. They, they, there are critical issues, but it is not the proper time to be ranting, or raising hell, or whatever. Uh, we are better off just, uh, you know, biding our time. But I will wait for the bilateral talks. If you are, if you are, I, 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 I am gonna, I, I, I will read your mind. You're talking about China, but during a bilateral meeting, maybe when I really do not know, then I'll put squarely the things that we have. And we will be talking about the arbitral judgment, and maybe I will say we, we cannot go out of our discussion within the four corners of this paper. But that has to wait. Because I, if I act hostile now, then they might just decide not to sit in front of you and talk. Magkapikunan. So you better just uh, say when, maybe a goodwill visit uh, to their country to express our willingness to talk and be friendly and avoid war. It's not an option, so there is only one option left, and it is just to talk. There are two things, you talk or go to war, or create trouble. If you cannot afford to go to war, 
or do some trouble, there's only one left for you to do. And that is to talk. What is there to worry about? So I go to Laos and I will avoid talking the issue vis-a-vis -vis with the Philippines. Now, if another country brings the matter up, that, that, that is not uh, within my control. My, 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 my participation there is to, to listen to the issues confronting the ASEAN, and if somebody brings up the matter about China Sea, then I will talk. But uh, I said uh, it has to be like a soft landing. Thank you, sir. We do not go there shouting and uh, ready to fight. Whether to talk peacefully. Ah, palit palit na magagal. Ano ano? Passion show. Dress to kill pag yun doon. Show natin ah. Pang tulog na ni Mr. President. Story yan. Sige na dyan. Ang GF Bombo Radio Press, Mr. President. Lain nga isyu po regarding po don sa pagdeklare ng Supreme Court na unconstitutional yung banning of aerial spray po sa Davao City. Kasi ikaw po yung during your term po yung well it's the final say of the Supreme Court. Hindi dapat ako naka hindi ako naghuhugas pero alam nyo hindi yun akin kay nening nening or kulio yon because she resides within the vicinity within the parameters of just beside the parameters of the the banana plantation. Balikan ko lang po yung... Wala natin magawa dyan. Peace negotiation po. Uh, we do not intend to, to, to file a motion for reconsideration or anything. Okay. Eh, uh, I feel it's useless. And uh, uh, kung yun ang sabi ng Supreme Court, wala natin magawa. We just have to follow and uh, maybe allow again the spraying of... Uh, I, I, want, I would not, uh, we will uh, have to dwell, in, dwell on so many things. We have to dwell on so many things there. Uh, health issues and uh, whether it is really, you know, whether it's a good chemical to be using and uh, what's, the, what's the net effect of that. Uh, so waters on the ground, there's a river there. And whether you like it or not, your chemicals will seep into the aquifer of the place. Kaya kung butas ka, may lulalpas talaga na tubig because there's a certain level down there that there's water. Isang question pa po, Mr. President. Regarding po doon sa ongoing na peace negotiation po sa Oslo Norway, assessment lang po niyo for the first few days po ng talks. I'm sorry, I, I, I was distracted. I, you have to, na photo, yung trend, yung trend ko na, na may trip ko agad lang sa anong daw yun. Assessment lang po, Mr. President, during the first few days po ng peace negotiation po sa Oslo Norway. Sa? Contento po ba kayo doon sa first few days po ng peace negotiation sa Oslo Norway? Well, I have not been, I've been posted with just a general statement, almost generic. But as to the hard, uh, to the gravamen nga ika nga of the, of the problem, wala pa. Wala pa. I, I, I'm posted by Dores and the rest. But it's just almost generic that we thought at this, this afternoon, uh, maybe at this time they're still uh, shaking hands until now. Mega B's, eh? Mm. Anyway, going back uh, to some of the uh, local concerns like the budget, Edsi Lagman is hell-bent on trying to oppose the budget for the office of the president because of a uh, huge increase allegedly. Yes. What is your justification and why is the increase? I have so many fights. And he can be very sure that that money will go to either the soldiers or to the police. I I I have a, I should have a budget to to buy information and all those things. I'm fighting a crisis, but at, at the end there should be no worry. It will come. It will come. It will uh, come to a vote. And I'm sure Congress would know. Ako, kung ayon niyo binigyan, okay lang sa akin. But you take care of the problem. Wala naman ako ng hiningi na sabihin mo ibulsa ko. 
all of these things will be used uh, for uh, lalo na sa intelligence fund. You know, I also, magtanong ka man, even yung mayor pa ako dito. Ngayong presidente na ako, magtanong kayo. Umaabot talaga sa kanila yan. And I tend to give more because I said I'm fighting so many wars. I have the Abu Sayyaf, I have the MI noon, MN. I really do not know if this will go on uh, as peacefully as we can really do it. Then I have the communist. So, kung ayaw lang ibigay, okay lang sa akin. Wala akong problema. Pero sabihin ko, we are failing in this, failing of that because we failed to act on time. Now, if we had the information, the malaman sana namin, uh, the, we could have just also interdicted this and that. Pero if we just worry that ibubulsa ko yan. When I was mayor, magtanong kayo ng mga polis na wala na ako sa pwesto. Ngayong presidente ako, tanungin mo sila. You can ask anybody in the military establishment. Sir, uh, follow-up question. Okay. I hope this will not irritate you if I bring up again the issue of Dilema. Um, ah, hindi. Si, si uh, kept on repeating about the possible human right violation, but when she came here for an investigation during your time as the mayor, she in fact could have violated the rule of law um, in human trying rights. to pull out a prisoner from the prison cell by the person of Jonathan Balo without the benefit of a court order. Yeah. Are you not trying to contemplate on turning... Oh, well, I will, uh, you know, Dilema is undergoing a nightmare now. Tama na yan para sa akin. Alam mo, I, just, I still have the tapes. And you guys were there. And you should be able to utter the same words that she uttered. It was very simple. I am here to conduct an investigation. Meron pa akong record eh. Na-record yun sa inyo. Nandiyan sa inyo rin. Nandiyan sa tapes ninyo. And I will correct that he is uh, uh, connected with the DDS. I will prove it. Nandiyan sa tape. She came Bumalik dito, nagdala ng pala kasi killing fields daw ang dabaw. Uh, do you agree with me if this is that? Di ba sabi niya? Killing fields and dabaw. Do you agree na, na sinabi niya yan? Sinabi niya. Oh. Wala siya nakita buto, isang tao pero may dalawang skull. Plate numbers. Plate numbers na nandoon naman sa kabilang partido. Yung nag-udyok sa kanya na pumunta dito. She violated the human rights. She started everything. Not only me, but maraming Pilipinong sinira niya. Now the truth is out. The cat is out of the bag. Ika nga. So what happens now? She's still yucking about the same issues. I do not deny that there are encounters between the police and the drug. Sinasabi ko lumalaban talaga yan. Tingnan mo yung police na matay kanina. Hinabol niya. Oh, kumuha ng... Di ba na-release niya? Lalaban niya kasi yung mga yan sira na ulo talaga yan. Kayo sabi niya na nakita na sprawl there uh, with the gun beside the body and they think that it's planted. It's machination. So, you know, everything. So, Sinasabi ko sa inyo, double experience, lumalaban yan. Kasi constant use of shabu will shrink your brain. Kaya talaga bumubunot ng baril yan. Now, I have said I'm losing two policemen, either, either police or military man. Ay, ayaw lang man yung wala. Ito namang mga gago, uh, genocide, genocide. Pagkabubo naman ito mga putang inan to. Is it live? Yes. Ah, di ba mga buti? Ulitin ko, napakabubo naman ninyo kay mga putang ina kayo. 
Kung ano yung asking about? Eh di si Dilema, pati yung mga UN rapporteur, mayroong legitimate encounters. We will, I will assume for responsibility. We will explain. Nandiyan yung mga papel na uh, pinadala ko. Sabi ko, eh, padala ninyo yung mga pagbabasahin ko. The papers are with me. I, I'm reviewing it. Ayong ano, sabi ko yung uh, in, uh, on the spot. And I will compare it to the affidavits. I am studying it every night. Tingnan ko kung may mga salvage-salvage. Pero yung pinatay na hindi natin uh, binalot na mga sako, binalot na plastic. The police, I assure you, would not waste their time on that. So kung pati ba naman yan, isalay ninyo na wala akong kamuang-wang, pakisali na lang po sa namatay ng lahat dyan sa puneraria, pati yung may mga cancer, isalay na lang ninyo. May mga diabetes, may mga... Kasi yung lahat na nakita ninyong patay, binibilang ninyo sa akin. Baka yung gusto ninyo, yung, yung taga-dabaw dito, sa, magbilang ako sa puneraria, lahat na, lahat ng patay. Bakit lang yan binabalot ng mga sako? Because the accusation itself is very stupid. It assumes right away na yung may patay dyan, guberno ang pumatay. When as a matter of fact, as early as one, sabi ko, magdrama na tayo. We so intrigued. Huliin mo ito, sabihin mo siya. Siya ang may career. Tapos ito, sabihin mo, ito siya, siya ang nagturo. Kung magpataya nga sila, hayaan mo muna. Let them kill each other. After that, papasok tayo. We are, we are not prohibited from using that kind of uh, methodology or modality, or what, what's the term? Oh, 1,000? So, oh, sira ulo, 1,600? Hindi, naubusan na kami ng bala niyan. Napapakialab namin yung binalot ng plus na. And to think that there are, Hoy, dilima, kinay ka, utang inaga. 3 million addicts in this country. Hoy, UN, there are now, even those who surrender, 600,000. Do you think it's a joke? It's a joke for you to tell me about the human rights. Come here and solve the problem yourself. I will fund you. I will pay your, even your, bibili ako pati yung toilet paper mo. Gago kayo ng tanong ng salita ng salita. Diyan may problema ako dito. 600,000 tapos ganun kayo magsalita. Uh, dilema. You are finished. Tapos ka na. Sunod eleksyon? Na. By the way, you look nice. Fighter talaga. Hmm. Fighter talaga. Hmm. Depends ako kay Diliba. Good evening po. Uh, may we know if you have a confirmation already of this uh, report that a kidnapped victim was beheaded in Sulu this afternoon? Is that the other one? Uh, this um, a, 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 the young Norwegian? Is that the one? No. Well, if that's the one, then I would uh, accuse now the, the Abu Sayyaf of in utter bad faith. Uh, Binayaran na yun sila, 50,000, they were adding... Ano? This is the 18-year-old. 18-year-old. Babae, lalaki. Ah, yung bata? Yes. That's why I'm sending the troops there and tell them to destroy their... My orders to the police and to the armed forces against all enemies of the state. Seek out, seek them out in their lairs, whatever, and destroy them. Ang mga droga, destroy them. Ang mga abasya, destroy them. Period. But, uh, Mr. President, napaka-ano naman nila. Diyan ako nawalaan ng bilip sa inyo. 
how different. Yan, oh, pasalamat ako. I won eh, by, by landslide sa ano. Alam naman ninyo kung ano. I have this little connection by blood video, but, you know, nawala talaga ako ng belief sa inyo. Although hindi ako tausog, more of the Maranao side. But, hindi ako belief sa inyo. How will this war against the Abu Sayyaf be any different from the previous administrations? We